Ta-da, Anarchy Projects. We're upgrading the stereo on our x Mines 79 series. Welcome back to RQ Projects everybody, I'm Roy, good to see you again. Now today's a good video um, because it's something that I've wanted to do to this car forever and it's going to cost me next to nothing and it'll be a massive improvement over um, the stock sound system. So when I bought this car um, it had no stereo, the interior is really dark now, I'm loving it. Had no stereo so there's just a big hole in the dash and if I get in there, the wires have just been chopped off. So you can see that just spaghetti of wiring. Um, so I've sort of separated them all out so I could start to work out what colours what. I can't, so I'm going to have to hook up the battery again and get a test light in there. I've got this secondhand JVC um, head unit. So it's a pretty standard double din head unit. It's a few years old. Um, it came out of my old 105 series parts car. And then I've just bought a set of um, JVC 220 watt 100 mil speakers. Um, and they've got a little tweeter in the middle. Cool thing about 100 mil speakers or four inch speakers is they'll fit in where the old speakers were. So up in here where the stock speakers were, um, the 100 mil speakers will fit. So these were the stock ones, and as you can see, they're really crusty and just garbage. I'm gonna make the new ones work with factory plugs. Um, and inside the factory mounts, it'll look clean, and it's cheap, and it's an upgrade. I thought about doing door pods with, you know, six inch speakers in the doors, or six by nines or something, but for now, I'm just gonna go with a little bit better than factory, and just turn the volume up, and we'll see. We'll see. I will put a big sub behind one of the seats eventually. This is going to do it for now. So let's get into it. Now because the plug has been cut off my factory wiring loom, my first job is to work out which cable is which, and we're going to do that with a test light. What I need to do first is work out which of the wires is our constant um, power. And I can do this with a test light which I've got here. These are a cheap little item. You can do it with a multimeter and I have got one there, but they're just a bit fiddlier um, to hold. So I'll do, I'll use that later. There's a bolt head down here that I can bolt to, that I can clip to rather for the negative. <clears throat> Maybe I can, <laughs> or I can't. Okay, let's clip to here. Okay, that should give me a decent earth. And then if I go into, there's a yellow wire here, let's see. I was hoping it'd be that one. No. Red. No. Maybe my negative's bad. Bad earth. As per every Facebook group. What color would it start? It's got a bad earth, mate. Is that what you're talking about? What? 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 Nothing. Oh. There we go. Okay, so the small red one. So it lights up. The small red one is our constant power. It's a good idea to have a pen to write these down. All right, so I've determined that the small red wire is our constant power. Now I need to work out our switched power. So I'll turn on the ignition. It's had some relay issues, but they seem to have cleared up. Turn on the ignition, and I reckon it's gonna be either the big yellow one or the big red one. Nope, neither. The other problem is it could have a blown fuse and may not have power to the stereo. So the process is the same for each of the power wires to the head unit. Um, running the test light over it again with the ignition on and then with the headlights on and different things um, to find each different wire and then I realized that the heavier gauge wires in that loom were the output for the speakers 
So have a look at that there. Luckily the colours line up. The only difference um, with finding these wires is finding the negative, which I'll explain to you now. So now that I've found headlights and I've written it down, I have to find my negative um, in the dash. So one of these wires is going to be negative. I don't necessarily have to hook it up. I can just use this little doodacker and bolt it to anywhere on the, you know, the dash bar or dash pad something. However, I want to use the negative in the harness. Um, so to find the negative, you can hook up the normally negative part of your test light to the wire that you know is constant power, which in this case is the smaller of the red ones. I would try and film what I'm doing in here, but there's hands everywhere and it's really awkward. Anyway, I need to strip that wire. So I'm gonna grab my strippers. So I need to strip my constant power somehow. I don't want to strip too much because having a big piece of bare wire on there that's got constant power laying around the back of here while I'm working is a little bit intense. So now that's on my constant power. So now if I touch it anywhere, it should light up. So there we go. Touch it on anything in the chassis that's metal, it'll light up. So now I can find my negative wire in the dash by just going back through the rest that I haven't already sorted out and it'll light up on brown. My first guess, wow. So 75, 79 series owners, your negative on your stereo wiring is the small brown one. It's a good idea to keep a list of which color wire does what in that harness, just so you don't have to remember everything. Um, a high tech piece of cardboard like this one will do the job nicely. We went on from there to plug the old speakers back in um, just to work out which side of the plug is what colour of wire. Then I'll show you how to work out which side's negative and which side's positive on a speaker. Alright, so this bit isn't rocket science, but it could be a little bit daunting if you haven't done much auto electrical before. And I can see that you're currently spasming. I hate LED lights. Anyway, what I've got here is a small battery off a handheld GME um, UHF. A 9 volt battery works fine. This is about 7.4 volts. And then what I've done is there's two little tabs on it and I've just made sure that that is my positive and negative. So as you can see on my voltmeter here, multimeter, when I go negative on black and positive on red, you probably can't see it, but it's reading 7.8 volts, which is good. So now what I've done is got a length of wire and stripped it on the ends and lined those up with one side on the plug, just wrapped it around here and here. So this side was purple, this side was pink. I took a mad guess to say that purple was negative and red, uh, pink was positive. Now you'll see, I may have to zoom you in on this when I edit it, but when I hook the purple up to negative and the pink up to positive, the speaker pops out, does a little click and comes up. So if I hook it up wrong, so that's what a speaker is meant to do. If I hook it up in reverse polarity, it pops down. So that tells me that with the bigger wires under the dash, the big purple one is my front left speaker negative, and the big pink one is my front left speaker positive. So I can write that down on my high tech cardboard box. So. Now, because these are interchangeable speakers, look, if I wanted to, I could stuff around with this one and make sure it's the same. But because they're interchangeable speakers, so it's the same part number from Toyota, I know that 
this is going to be the negative side of this one as well. So blue's negative, green's positive on my front right. So I can just write that down as well. So for all the 79 series owners out there, I will um, post this up in the comments or whatever. Because I research, I did so much Googling trying to find these and couldn't. So I'll write this up somewhere for everybody. If you want to know, um, hit me up in the comments or I'll put it in a comment and I'll pin it. So it'll be top comment um, with a rundown of the colors. Anyway, I got two more. I've got a couple more wires I need to work out in there. So let's get back into the car. All right, so I've done a bit more digging around in here. I'll show you what we're dealing with in here because I don't think I've showed you yet. But this is our wires, wire situation. The ones that I've folded down are the ones that I've worked out what they are. Um, I now know that the thicker ones up the back there um, sort of, if I can hold this somehow with my teeth maybe. <laughs> That's not a good idea. So these guys here are gonna be my speaker power wires. So those two are my front left. Um, those two are my front right. Now what I'm left with is these four wires which are the same gauge as those speaker wires. The only thing I can conclude from those is that it's the same wiring harness as say a 76 series which has rear speakers in the rear doors or in the back somewhere so i reckon those are probably a rear left and those are a rear right or vice versa i don't know um, about those but i'm gonna leave those and just i'll cap them all off heat shrink them all um, separately this one i am going to guess and hopefully i'm accurate it's a blue with a yellow stripe or a white stripe can't quite tell I reckon that's a power antenna. So I'm gonna hook it up to power antenna for now and we will see. I will just leave a plug on it so I can unplug it if I get it wrong and plug it into something else. My next job is to extend that factory harness out of the dash, just so I've got a bit of um, length to work with when I'm soldering on a universal plug for the head unit. What I'm doing here is just stripping all those wires and then I'm going to use a crimp and heat shrink it just so I don't have to try and solder right down inside that hole. Anyway, right, I'll speed this footage up and let's get to the soldering. Okay, now next step, if you want to look like an auto electrician, Get yourself one of these. This is a cheap kit off eBay that is just a big box full of little connectors and joiners and stuff. The ones I'm using to extend all these wires is this one. So it's just like an end-to-end -end crimp. What it means is that I won't have to solder inside the dash here because soldering in there is gonna be an absolute prick. So I don't wanna do that. Yeah, so I'm starting off with the red one because I know that's my constant power and I don't want that to rub against anything or the negative. So I'll push that in to about there. Now these crimps, the top one was red, blue and yellow. So with your little clips and crimps and stuff, that big kit I just showed you, they are color coded by size. So yellow is for heavier gauge wire, blue is for in the middle and red is for your smaller wires. So the little red bit's falling out of there. So I need to use that red section to crimp the red one. Funnily enough, my um, GoPro ran out of storage space before I got to the soldering. But basically I extended all these wires out of the dash with crimps and then soldered on the universal plug that'll work with the JVC head unit and then gave the whole thing a good wrap with insulation. Um, you know, I have like a split conduit and cable tie. So yeah, my next job here is just to make the new speakers um, talk to the factory harness. So cut the plugs off the factory speakers and just made those new wires adapt to the same plug.
I then cut two of the tabs off the new speakers, the mounting tabs, and elongated one of the holes. Um, this will make them work with the Toyota factory uh, mounting points inside the dash. Freaking beautiful. Next job was to knock up some mounts to make this head unit mount in the dash. If you're not a cheap ass like me, you can buy these from super cheap or eBay or somewhere, but I decided to stuff around with some box section for two hours instead and knock them up. So I drilled a few holes in it, um, cut some nice shapes and gave it a coat of black spray paint. So the final step and the most rewarding bit is to plug the head unit in and bolt it into place, flip the fascia back around and it's time for a sound comparison. All right, so the head unit is in, it's the next morning. Um, now before I go wiring up the new speakers, I wanna get something to compare them to. So I've put the stock speakers back in. I'm gonna play a clip that you'll all instantly recognize. Um, <laughs> okay, not not that, I don't listen to that. That's That's not what I listen to. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that sounds much better. It still doesn't have a lot of bass, but as far as I'm concerned, that's good enough um, for me for now in this car. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, sorry, it was a bit lengthy. Yeah, I think we're ready to pack it in for tonight. What do you reckon, dog? Hey, you with me? She's out to it. And Ella's over there spray painting the rear bumper for Big Dwayne, the 105. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see an update on the 105 because it's changed a lot. Look at that big boy. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week.